Hello YouTube, my name is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome to a rules and format video for the Total War Warhammer Casual League, which I'm setting up on my channel. So in this video, we're going to go over the rules, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the format of the league, and then I'll go over the people that have come forward that want to play in this league so far, and I'll give you a basic example at the end of the video of what the sort of builds you can actually have in this uh, series. If you still want to join the league, you still can, it's not a problem at all. All you got to do is go in the description below, check out the link to the Steam group and let me know that you want to participate in this league. Okay guys, so I start off with the rules. So the rules are on the screen as you can see anyway. Uh, 15,000 funds, I feel like that's a well-balanced kind of thing to go for. If I go for a lot more than that, like 20,000, 30,000, etc, then people could just spam all sorts of units. I think with 15,000, you've really got to think about your build. I think it's probably a good kind of uh, fund to go with. I want to play an ultra unit size if possible. I think having an ultra unit size makes things fairer. And most people should be able to play on that, hopefully. So we'll go with that, guys. Um, next one is a maximum of one lord slash hero unit. General is separate. So basically, an example of this would be if I was to go with the vampire accounts, I could have Manfred von Karstein as my uh, legendary lord, as my general. I could then have an additional... Um, hero or lord unit so I could go for a necromancer for example so I could go with those two in my build but I can't go for a third unit I can't go for a banshee for example or I can't go for a vampire because I already got a necromancer as well as my general so that basically means that you can't spam lords and wizards and stuff then because if you've got too many magical units like that on the battlefield things will get a bit messy and people could be way overpowered so I think having a, um, a balance there is important that's why one lord or hero unit um, to go with the general, I think it's fair. I've gone with a maximum of five cavalry units. Now, I was thinking four, then I was thinking six. In the end, I couldn't decide, so I went with five. Um, I don't want to go with too many because I don't want people to, spy, you know, to spam sort of right guards and those heavy sort of cav units. But at the same time, we want to see those units in action, don't we? But um, we've got to remember, this is a casual tournament, so we're not going to be hard faced with, with the rules. Not, you know, there's room to sort of make a decent build here, but at the same time, have a fair build so i think five is probably the best way to go with that now monsters and beasts slash artillery and war machines i've combined this into one group so what that means is that you could um you can go for a maximum of three units combined so if i use the vampire counts as another example i could have two vargeists if i want to and i can go with a black coach so i've got one artillery there and i've got two beast units two monster units I could go with um, three Vargeists if I want to, but I can't go with the, for anything else then, and I can't go for any artillery either. So it's three combined with those two subcategories, basically. And that's the basic rules for the actual battles and the tournament itself. The actual format is that everybody plays each opponent twice. So you play one game home, and you play one game away. Playing home means you select the battle map, therefore having home advantage. So, for example, if I want to play... Um, uh, on a, I can't try to think of the battle map, but the battle map names now. If I want to pick a, my own map, which I've practiced on, you know, for example, I've probably, perhaps played on this battle a few times previously on the maps. I got an idea. I might have a few advantages up my sleeve. I will select that map for my home match. Basically, I have that home advantage of selecting the map. The other person's got to try and beat me on that map, basically, and vice versa. Then, when when I play away to that person, they have that advantage as well. They could catch me by surprise with the map they've picked, and all of a sudden, then I'm, I got an uphill battle. So, it really think makes you think about the the battle maps and what sort of strategy you're going to use when going into it. So, I've gone with that just to spice things up and keep it kind of similar to a soccer slash football league. Now, there's an additional side note I want to um, want to mention here. Players can drop in and out at any time. I don't want this to be a strict tournament. If people can't commit, for example, someone takes part, they fight their first two battles, then you don't hear off them for, for two months, then they have the ability to drop out the tournament. All they got to do is let me know. Just say, hey, Dragonheart, um, I'm struggling at the moment. I don't think I'm going to be able to participate any longer. Just go say, I won't judge anybody for it. I understand. I'm busy. I'm a busy person myself, so that's not a problem at all. Um, all. All I ask is just let me know, and then you can drop out the tournament if you want to. All your previous results will become null and void. So basically, if you've won two matches against myself and perhaps one other person, um, you've, you've got a total of six points in the league. That would basically mean that um, I would... Uh, you, you'd lose those points, basically, and then um, the two people that you've beaten would no longer have a defeat to their name, basically, so that that loss is now gone. Um, that way, then, the league can be reshaped. It might mean that someone's got up a place or down a place on the table because of that, but... Um, I feel like that way then, it's, it's casual, yeah, it's fair at the same time. So I've gone with that. 
Uh, the point system as well, I haven't put that on here, but I'm just going to quickly mention as well. It's three for a win, one for a draw, zero for a loss. That's what I've gone with, guys. Pretty straightforward. It's like football and soccer, like I've already mentioned, so that's what we are uh, going with with that. Now, once you have finished a battle, I want you to please email the result to the following address, which is princedragonheart at outlook.com. And what I mean by please email is battle replays. Save your battle replays. Send them to that email address because I want to obviously have this tournament on the channel. If any of you are content creators as well, I definitely encourage you guys to make your own videos about it, have your own playlist go in. That way then we can collaborate a little bit. I can share your playlist around. You can say me if you want to. You might think I'm a bit of a cunt. People do. Oh, well. <laughs> and... Um... And uh, yeah, I, I want to try and promote the storm a little bit on the channel and perhaps on your channels if you want to as well. And I'll basically be doing battle replay um, critiques, if you will. I'll, I'll, I'll watch other people's battles. I'll, I'll set it up. I'll commentate over it. I'll have a look at what they've done, what strategy they've used, what I think is good, what I think is bad. I'll talk over some of the unit choices as well. And yeah, it should be pretty fun. If you guys want to join me in these sort of battle critiques, you're more than welcome to, as long as you've got the same save file as me then uh, we can set it up, we can both press play at the same time and talk about the battle um, as we watch it together, basically. Now that this part of the video is over, we're going to go to the second part of the video now, which is going to be some battle composition. So I'll see you there, guys. Okay, welcome back, everyone. So what we're going to do now, we're going to show you a quick example of what uh, a build can be like in this tournament. So let's go to battles, let's go to custom battle, and let's, uh, let's go with the vampire counts. So what we want to do, first of all, vampire counts is... Where we've got funds in the bottom by here, we're going to go into custom and we're going to make that 15,000, just like that. Let's click off that. 15,000, that's the funds, that's the first thing you want to have on here. I'm on ultra unit size as well, guys, so that's already set up in my settings. So make sure you go to settings and put ultra unit size on. So I can have a maximum of one spell caster uh, or lord or hero unit, basically. So what that means, guys is I will have my Lord, my General, which is going to be Manfred. So he counts as one. Manfred counts as one, guys. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go with a hero unit to accompany him. So I could go with the Vampire Lord by here, which is quite expensive. I can go with that. Oh, actually, no, I can't. <laughs> I can't go with that because it only counts as one. But what I can do, I can go with the Vampire by here. And that's my allocation by there. So I have my one Lord and I have my one Hero. Um, but if I wanted to go with the Necromancer as well, like that, I could not do that. That would be breaking the, the little rule that I've got here. And plus, I'd be quite overpowered well, Necromancer, a Vampire, and Manfred in one army. So I can go with the, the Necromancer and Manfred, but I can't go with the Vampire. And the same then, if I go want the Banshee, I'd have to have the Banshee on her own and not the Necromancer, the Vampire, or the White King. So I'd have one, you get your General, whoever is in the Lords, but you have him, and then out of your Heroes and your other sort of special units, Wizards, etc., only pick one of them to go with them so that's what we're going with we're going with the banshee and manfred here that's the first thing done there now a maximum of five cavalry units so um the vampire counts for example they have some good cavs they've got blood knights they've got uh hex race for example which i like using they've got black knights here now black knights are quite cheap so i could go with say three of them and maybe i want to go with something a bit stronger so maybe i'll go with two hex race to give me some diversity that's the maximum amount of cav i could have they all come from the cavalry and chariot section here um, that's my allocation all used up. If I wanted to go for Black Knights, Lancers and Barding, that would break the rules by there. So we're just going with five cav units right here. I still got 6,000 left to spend. I also need to use that on my main army. So um, what we could go for now is Monsters and Beasts slash Artillery and War Machines. These all come under one allocation. So I can have, for example, even though I can just about afford it, I could go with one, two, three Terror Geists. If I wanted to, I'd go with that army. I mean, there's no infantry at all, but I could go with that army if I wanted to. If I wanted to have three terror geists and just a lot of cav, I could go with that. I mean, I haven't got much in the way of units, and it's very risky to go with this sort of army, believe me. But if I wanted to, I could go with that. But I could not, for example, go with something like this. So if I went with, say, a unit of felbats, and I wanted to have, say, I don't know, two vargeists, and then I wanted to go with, say, I don't know, a mortis engine, I couldn't do that because that would be four units then. Fellbats counting as one. Vargeist counting as two. So they've got three by there and then four with that. Only a maximum of three we can go with here. So, for example, I might take them out. And instead I might think, right, okay, we've got to try and balance this build. Maybe I'll go with the Vargulf. And then maybe I'll go with, say, I don't know, a Crypt Horror and a Fellbat just to mix it up. I then got 3,000 left to spend on infantry. So my infantry 
I'll try and get that out there as well. So maybe I'll go with Grave Guard, and I could probably get one, two, three, four. I can go with four units of Grave Guard if I want to, and then maybe I want to just bulk this up a bit more. Maybe go for the the is that the Tithe zombies. Maybe go with a couple of them, or one of them rather, because it's a special unit. Um, and maybe go with some zombies as well. So that's not a bad army, and it's quite varied. We've got the infantry, we've got Cav, we've got our monsters. It's fairly well balanced. That's pretty good. And say now the CPU over here. Say that's a, um, a, an opponent, one of my first battle, for example. This could be my home game, so then I'll go into the settings and I'll go through the battlefields. And maybe I want to go for Schwartz's Tavern. Maybe I'll go with Stir River. Maybe I'll go with Stone Mine Tower. Whatever. You, you have the home advantage. You can pick any map. That you want to basically any map you want to at home is your choice um if, if you have a particular map you do really well on that is your advantage that, that is what this league does but obviously the opponent which you you fight they will also have home advantage when they play you at home they can pick whatever map they want to so if they if you've done them a wrong turn by picking a map but you think they've got no chance of winning and you beat them on that home map then obviously they might want to give you your comeuppance and they'll pick a really difficult map for you perhaps um, later down the line in the return leg. So that's the sort of thing you can do. I'll just give you a quick example of a few more as well. Let's just uh, clear army. So, but that's the thing as well, guys. All these factions are available. So if you want to go with Beastmen, Bretonia, if you want to go with the Crooked Moon, for example, the newer factions, or go with like the Empire, you can go with any playable multiplayer faction. It is totally your choice. Like I said, this is a casual league. The, there are rules in place, which I'm going over in this video, but. It's not going to be a strict hardcore thing, you know. We're not going to be starting our own Dragonheart clan and taking over the whole bloody game. You know what I mean? We're not going to be challenging Legend of Total War on YouTube every week in the online battles. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be a bit of casual fun, a bit of entertainment. We're going to make it competitive, obviously. Uh, people like me and people who are perhaps, you know, not that good at online battles. I'll openly admit that, guys. I'll openly admit I'm not that good at online battles. This is good practice, and it's a good way to ease yourself into it as well. So, um, we'll just use one more example. We'll use green skins, for example. So, we'll go with um, we'll go with Grimgore. So, he's our one. We want to go for a second hero. So, maybe we'll go with... Um, let's go with the Orc Shaman. So, that's our, that's our allocation used up there. One Lord, one hero. And then, um, we'll go with our infantry. So, actually, no, we'll start off with the Cav, because that's the easiest way to do it for me. I might well go with the new Squig. Maybe we'll go with the uh, Squig Hoppers. So, maybe I'll go with one, two... Three. Don't have to use up, up, you know, up to five if you don't want to. That's three cav units, but they, I could just sit at that um, as well. So we've got monsters and beasts now. Um, oh, by the way, as well, guys, missile cav also counts. So missile cav will come under the cavalry as well. So just let you guys know that all counts as the same thing. Cavalry and chariots, but they is also the same as missile cavalry and chariot chariots. Just sort of point out because vampire counts obviously got worded differently there because they don't have missile troops. Um, so I could go with three of them, and then I could go with, say, a giant for my one monster. Maybe I'll go with the, the Rock Spider for the other one. And maybe I'll go with a troll. That's three different um, beasts per day, monsters. I won't use any artillery because I can't, because I've now used all three of my allocation. And then I've got 5,000 to spend on infantry and missiles. So I might want to go with, say, Savage Orc Attaboys. Maybe I'll go with a couple of them. Or we'll go three of them. Give me some missile fire. Black Orcs are really good. Want to get one of them in there at least with what I've got left, and then maybe I'll go for some Savage Orc big guns because they're pretty good. I know Savage Orcs are useful. I can get a couple of them in here as well, and then I get eighty-seven left, so I might want to just give some chevrons here of experience um, to the units. I think that's the amount I can do probably, and that's that. And that's a that's a pretty good uh, balanced army there. I've got I haven't used up my full allocation of cav, but I have got three cav units there. I've got my three monsters slash. Uh, war machines there, can remember the name then. Um, and we've got infantry and stuff there. So that's pretty balanced there. And I hope that clarifies things, guys. If you've got any queries at all, or any rule changes, slight rule changes you want to make before this actually starts, let me know. Um, hopefully in the next few days or so, maybe in about a week, we'll have our first battle up on here. I'll get this arranged, guys, and then we'll take it from there. I've been Dragonheart Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.